Hello everyone, it's now time for race number 6 of season 4 of EA Sports Supercross 2000. I did my last race in San Diego as Brian Hughes, which I ended up winning rather easily. So this time I'm going to go to Irving, Texas. And the rider that I'm going to use for this race is... Greg Albertine. Greg Albertine, the 1997 opening round winner at uh, the old LA Coliseum, which is which was his only Supercross win. But Alby is also the the 1999 250 Outdoor National Championship, winning seven of the 24 motos and three overalls on the year. But Wyndham won, but Kevin Wyndham won the most with four wins. Won the most overalls with four. Welcome to the EA Sports Supercross, coming to you live from Irving, Texas. We're looking forward to a great race tonight. And of course, Albertine first coming to the States in 1995. The camera's on battery, but I might be able to get this. Are set at the gate. This should be a great race. You know my lineup, so let's go. You gotta stay loose and focused right now. This is the moment of truth. And the gate is dropped. We are underway with the first heat. Screaming plastic. Mikel Pichon captures the lead from Albertine. Whoa. Tim Ferry is leading the race. Trying to get is our new leader. This rivalry is far from over. And I'm watching it's 11 p.m. on Friday, April 27, 2012. Five laps to go. Greg Albertine, looking strong. He'll get a challenge from number three, Michael Rocco. Just passing. Lord. Of course, the original winner of this race drops into fourth place. Was Wyndham one of his uh, two wins that season Agreed. before an injury? Rocco is dropping back. Sidelined him. Whoa! Wyndham makes a gutsy pass on Mike Morocco. Mike Morocco gets by Larry Ward, moving into fifth place. Brooke is making his move. Jeff Emme, who won this Michael race, Rocco makes the pass on Jeff Emme, moving into fifth place in 1997. Michael falls behind now. Mike Morocco gets by easily. Michael Pichon dropping back into fifth place. Pichon and Mike Morocco are fighting it out. Four laps to go. Alvi is the current leader. Hard to look fast. Barry looks like he's still in second place. What a ride for Barry. Mike LaRocco drops into fifth place. No, I think that might be Henry. Some of the riders really like the move section here in Dallas. Yeah, it's pretty technical. It favors the riders with the best time. Morocco moving up into fifth place. That's the bubble. Whoa! Michonne rockets past Tim Perry. Alby, our leader, coming around. Bring Albertine to fast, fearless, physical. Of course, Albertine was probably more well known for his crashes. Fifth place. Some in particular I seem to be at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando. In fact, the first Supercross race I ever watched, I seen Alfie with this vicious, vicious crash. And 
ended up with a bruise on his hip. Most riders can just look at these sets and figure out the fastest time to through. This is usually a faster way that not everyone has the confidence to attend. The idea is to jump through with as fast a timing as possible, avoiding one jump and slow down. Mike Morocco cuts to the inside on Glory. Gets by him. There's blind games going on. Looks like Morocco ran some space in his head. Could be the whole top four the way this is going. Our leader, Albertine, around again, still looking relaxed and smooth. Sorry about that, guys. Camera shut off on me, and unfortunately, Ardak was about to say something about war, so you're unfortunately not going to hear it. Barry makes a move on Ward and takes fourth place. Uh, Ward moved in front of Barry in a fourth, but Barry got him back. Barry is able to make it out of the heat race. That's awesome. Bringing the crowd alive with another of his Batman stunts. Blows right past Tim Ferry. Cutting Ferry in drops into fifth place. Larry Ward is dropping back. But like Ferry might be trying for that last Greg transfer Albertine. spot. Looks like he's going to make this his race from full shot to play. Number eight, Greg Albert is really having a great race. Mike Morocco moves into fifth place. That's in front of Ferry. Just passing Tim Ferry. Best lap was a 57. The last lap I did was a 59. So definitely ought to Tim hold Ferry it together. Falls behind now. Ward gets by easily. Jeff Emig winning this race back in 1997 in the mud. Doesn't look like he's going to be going in the main event. But you know what? I'm just going to take it easy. I'm just going to roll. Albertine getting the whole shot and going all the way to the checkered flag. Albertine wins the heat and transfers to the main. Remember, only the top four get to transfer directly to the main event. Almost seven, almost a seven second win over John Dowd. John Dowd, a winner of this of the 125 race back in 1998, also winning the title that night. That was a bittersweet night for Yamaha because Jeremy McGrath won his fifth Supercross title in six years. That same night, Mikel Pichon comes through for third. And who's going to get the last spot? It's going to be Larry Ward. Kevin Windham, the original winner, will get fifth. Tim Ferry will get sixth. Mike LaRocco, our series points leader, is in seventh. Sebastian Tortelli will finish in eighth, so that means that Doug Henry and Jeff Emig will not go to the main event. See you all for that.